As you know, as an athlete here at Wilmington University, it is required that you fill out information in our ATS uh, web portal. I'm going to walk you through that process now. To start with, you'll go to the WilmU Athletics webpage. You will click on Student Athletes and then go to Athletic Training. Once in Athletic Training, you will go to Forms and Documents. And once that loads, you will see ATS Web Portal Instructions. You will download this, save it, open it. Once opened, you will see that there is step-by-step -step instructions with a link at the top. You can click on this link or you can copy and paste it into your browser. I am working on a Mac and I found that it does not work properly when using Safari. It only took me about 10 seconds to download the uh, Mozilla Firefox browser and that is what I'll be using today. So once you click on the link, it will bring you to the ATS web portal. Your coach should give you your log ID and your password. You will enter that information into the required fields and then a login agreement will pop up. You need to fully read this login agreement and accept the terms before you can enter the website. Please fully read the agreement. Once inside, you will see four areas that you can choose from. Returning athletes must review previously entered data to update their information and enter new data. This will include their current year in school and uploading of new picture of an insurance card. We are now at step three, which is to click on athlete information. Once in athlete information, there are four sections that you will need to complete. That is general, medical history, insurance, and contacts. In the general section, you will see there are yellow um, areas to be completed. The yellow areas are required information. There must be something inputted into these, um, these areas. This will be name. All of this is already entered. You will need to put your phone number, cell phone number, your email address, social security number. If you are an international athlete and you do not have a social security number, we need you to type NA because something must be placed in this section. There are two areas for addresses. This is your home and your school address. If you are a local athlete and you live at home, then you just input this address twice as seen here. If you are not a local athlete, you need to put both home and school address. You do not need to change your athlete ID or your password unless it's hard for you to remember and you would like to change it so that you can remember it and keep your data up to date throughout the school year. Returners and freshmen need to make sure that the school year is correct. If you are a returner, then you need to update to what year you are now. If you are a freshman, you can keep it at freshman. There are sections medical alerts, allergies, and current medications. These need to be completed. If you have any medical conditions that we need to know about, asthma, ADHD, or anything like that, you need to input it in the medical alerts section. If you have any allergies, this could be allergies to medications, allergies to pollen, bees, anything of the sort, it needs to be listed here. Also, if you're on any current medications, it needs to be listed in this field. If you are not on any current medications, then you need to list NA in the current medications field. If you are on a medication, you need to list the detailed information including dosage and prescribing doctor in this field. After that, you need to click on Save Athlete Information. If nothing has changed, it will be Verify Athlete Information, but even as a returner, you should have changed your year, so you should be saving athlete information. As you can see, it says Save as Complete. Our next section is medical history. What we'll do in medical history is if you've had any surgeries or injuries, you need to list them here. If you've had any surgeries, then you can add right here. If you are a returner, you need to edit any information, you can right here, but you shouldn't edit any surgeries. To add, you'll click Add. We will need surgery date, the body part, the doctor that did the surgery, the hospital and the city that it is located, 
and then any notes. Basically, if the procedure was to repair a ligament, if it was to reset a bone, any of those things will be listed right here. Then you will click on the blue check mark to save. You will then see that they will be listed here. If you have a significant injury that needs to be listed, you should do that in medical notes. That is, if you've had a severe sprain or anything like that that hasn't necessarily needed surgery, but you have had medical attention for it since you have been in uh, last, or if you are a new returning athlete, those will be listed right here. What you will do then, if nothing has changed and you are a returner, verify medical information. If you are a new incoming athlete, then you will save medical history. Next, we will go to the insurance section. As a returner, you will see things listed in your insurance section for each year that you have been here. If you are a new incoming athlete, then what you will do is you will click Add to add new insurance. If you are just updating your information as a returner, you will click on the insurance that you would like to edit, then you will click Edit. Once in this section, all yellow fields are required and something must be put there and you will see that a new image of your card for the front and the back must be added on before you can save and um, move on. If you are a new athlete you will click add. In this section you will add all of your insurance information. There is a list of insurance companies already added into the system. If you do not see your insurance company here, you will need to exit back out and go down to the Add New Insurance Company section. If you click on this, this is where you would add the insurance company name, their phone number, and their mailing address. All of that has to be entered and then you save company. For today, we will just We will just edit information. As you can see, all fields need to be uh, complete. All yellow fields are required. Insurance company name, insurance company type, so HMO or PPO, payer level, Payer number is going to be one for all athletes because your insurance is primary insurance. Everyone needs to enter one into this field. You will also need the insurance company's phone number. If you have the plan, plan type, copay, that can be entered in there as well. That would be um, great information for us to have. Next, you will need to enter the ID number. All insurances have an ID or a policy number. Next would be the group number. Not all insurances have a group number. If you do not have a group number, you need to enter NA. Then there needs to be a deductible amount. Most insurances have a deductible, which is what you're responsible for before the insurance starts to pay. Most insurances are around about $500. If you do not know, you need to contact your insurance company and find out. Then we need the information of your primary care physician. You need to enter the physician's name here, the physician's phone number in this section. Then we're on to policyholder information. The policyholder is whose insurance the or whose name the insurance is under. If this is not your insurance, if you are under your parents' insurance, your parents are the policyholder. So you need to find out who it's under and get their first, middle, and last name, the policyholder's date of birth, which would be whoever it's under the policyholder's social security number, not yours unless you are the policyholder, gender, and then relation. Under relation, there's self, spouse, child, other. Since parent isn't listed, we would suggest that you put other if it is for a parent. Then you need the policyholder's street, city, state, zip code, the policyholder's phone number, and the policyholder's employer needs to be listed. Finally, there's the policyholder's or the policy start date and the policy end date. If you don't know the policy end date or it is not listed, 
you need to call the insurance company and find out. If there is no policy end date and it just automatically renews each year, put the last date of the year and you will need to increase it at the end of the year. Then we are to the section where we need an image of the card. We have specific instructions on the sheet as how to do this. Using your smartphone, you will please take a clear picture of both the front and then of the back of your card. The entire phone screen, the entire photo, should be of the front of the card. There should not be a lot of border. It needs to be in focus and easily readable. Then you should email those pictures to yourself as a medium file size. As you can see here, files must be under one megabyte in size and one of these file types. So when you email it to yourself, email it as medium and save it as a JPEG, which is .jpg. Once you have done this, you can click select. You can find the card where you saved it. Front of card. It takes up the screen. It is easily readable. And there it is. Then you the next one, card back, it is easily readable, attach. Once this has been done, you can then save all the information. Do this by clicking on the blue check mark. Once that has happened, you should see the information right here, and you are done with that section. You can then move on to contacts, which is your emergency contacts. If you are a returner, you will see your emergency contacts listed. If you are not a returner, you will need to click Add and add the information. We will need the full name. This is first and last name. Their relationship to you, their cell phone, and their work phone. Then you will click the blue check mark to save. If you are a returner, then you can just review this information, make sure that it is correct, and click Save. If everything is correct and you're a returner, you can verify emergency contact information. Once this has all been completed, you are now complete with the ATS portal um, information. You can log out and inform your coach that you have completed the required work. If you have any questions, please contact your coach or your staff athletic trainer and we can help you with this process. Thank you.